This place is actually beautiful. It's so nice here. Oh, I got excited. Let me go back to the beginning. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are currently at MIA in Miami, yeah, and we are literally getting on the plane to go to Aruba. <laughs> Aruba? Yes. Kwame's kind of grouchy, but he'll get over in a second. <laughs> So we arrived in Aruba not too too long ago. We are about to go get some lunch, dinner, one of those. We're getting barbecue. I'm excited because um, I know it's something that I'll eat because I'm so picky with that's fine. And then we're gonna go to the beach each. Let's go touch a wave. You know, Nicki Minaj kind of moment. We're actually here. Like, I'm gonna give you guys a house tour when I come back. I've gotta clean my room a little bit because the girl had to get good looking or whatever. And so now there's stuff everywhere. But I'll clean this so I can give you guys a house tour. Okay, see you in a bit. Ciao. The, the country is just beautiful. Like, look at this. Today was, it was fun, but it can be better. It can always be better. Like tomorrow, we're doing all kinds of stuff, but like today was fun. I was just like swimming in the pool or whatever. We were swiping on Tinder to see what kind of dudes are here. Tomorrow, me and Darren are going to get our nails done because I messed my nails up before I got here. Um, but yeah, I'm about to take a shower, get some sleep. Day one. It's over, like, just about, actually, it's not midnight yet. We're gonna find some more stuff to do. But Aruba has this, like, curfew type thing. When you come, just make sure to plan around, like, Aruba's curfew or whatever. Hey guys, so we are currently in the grocery store. Max, on. Ooh, hold on. So yeah, we are all trying to figure out what we want to eat, what we want to buy. Um, Y'all know I'm such a picky eater, so it's always super hard for me to like figure out what I want to eat, especially in conjunction with what other people want to eat. But it's okay because I think we're doing an amazing job of like figuring everything out. Um, they made everybody like get a buggy on their way in, just to kind of like separate us, saying that we were all from different households. The thing to know is that if you plan on staying at the house, if you plan on cooking, only one person per your household can come to the grocery store. We decided to come and get some food because it's just nice to be able to like have food in the house because we were literally like starving last night so we learned our lesson. Bruh. Guys, what kind of prices are these for some cereal? Please tell me. What is this? What is this? Like, huh? I have gone just a little bit overboard on groceries, just a little bit. It came out to like 200-ish florin, I think, but only like 115 USD, so that was nice. Wait, 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 let's just see the beach. This beach yeah. is so pretty, okay. But um, anyway, we decided to go get our nails done, only to get to the nail shop and be told that we have to wait 40 minutes. <laughs> and so, now we left Nigel there so he can get himself a mani pedi. We love a man that takes care of himself. <laughs> Darren is with me. Yee, cheese. Um, and so now we're, Darren, where are you going? <laughs> and so now we like, we're just driving around. We saw this really pretty beach area. So 
We're gonna go check that out. <laughs> I hope we can get in. Honestly. Guys, this is actually so beautiful. Like come on, I'm literally using the best fire. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> But me and Darren took some pictures, which you can see if you go look at my Instagram. So go check that out. But anyway, we've decided to go ahead and go to the butterfly farm because why not? Yeah, um, so yeah, anyway. oh, beautiful people. So as it turns out, we actually haven't gone to the butterfly garden, even though I wore my butterfly foot or whatever. Why do we actually? We should go actually. Like, oh no. Really. Uh, what is this place called it's called inspiration art nails they're actually so good like these this set of nails this is a full set um all of this design and this these are gel nails even with the the little pinky uh rhinestones and all 53 dollars 53 dollars find me a place in the states where all of that is 53 dollars please i'm reading anyway we're about to go clubbing you know your girl has to have a little social life while she's in her 20s, so... Ciao! <laughs> at 11 but everything closes at 10 and so right now it's actually 10 58 um we just literally just got in the house and we almost like didn't make curfew but it's okay we met a bunch of people we met like two different groups of girls one of them were like more age and one of them were like older but it doesn't matter we're supposed to go back to the club back to the bar tomorrow night so we can get lit now that we have some friends and then uh, the younger group of friends invited us to come join them on their boats on Sunday. So, that's the moves right now. The guys have left us. At this point, it's just a girl's trip. Like, but anyway, I actually have an exam to take. Um, <laughs> I have an exam. So, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Brian and Rise and shine, beautiful people. Mwah, I love you. Good night. I'm sorry it's so windy. We came back to Palm Beach, but with our friends this time, instead of just me and Darren. Um, and this place is just gorgeous. I mean, one thing is we're looking for jet skis, but we cannot find them because <laughs> we don't know where we're going and we should have planned this out better. And like, cell service does not work here. Like, my cell service from the US and I haven't gotten a new card. So, <gasps> oh my God. Okay, I'm afraid, but like, they're crabs! They're crabs! Little bitty baby crabs! We literally just came back from Palm Beach um, jet skiing. It was so much fun, guys. Up on the ATV, we're right, right now we're at the chapel. <laughs> um, I think there's like a natural pool stop, so that's what I'm looking forward to. from the ATV because literally they sand everywhere. Yeah. We're at Baby Bridge. <laughs> it's actually so
tired. He did so much stuff today. Right now, you're not allowed to actually dance in the clubs, which is whack because of COVID and COVID restrictions. And so, I'm beat. I'm gone. I'm pooped. I'm gonna. I'm going to sleep. Good night, y'all. Peace out. Hey peeps, so we're actually back at Palm Beach again. I know like, I'm not all dressed up or whatever anymore. I literally woke up at 10 o'clock. I, like, I went to sleep pretty late last night. Y'all know I was pooped, like, I was gone. I don't even remember what I recorded, but I know I recorded something. Anyway, this place is beautiful. We came here um, at Palm's restaurant to get brunch. Um, so right now it's like 12 o'clock. And I was like, this is lunch, but Kwame said it's brunch. And I was like, okay, whatever. The food is supposed to be really nice here. I mean, I'll have to get, I guess, do a little review, let you guys know how it actually is. We went to go get COVID tested, um, which was quick, fast, easy. It wasn't anything difficult. I'm just hoping that these test results come back negative because no one here wears masks. Like, it's really actually quite rare. Anyway, I'm going to eat because I'm starving. Um, enjoy this beautiful view. And then I'll let y'all know how it is. Ciao. Let me stop. Yeah, <laughs> no, bro, you have to stand up. You have to stand up. Huh? You have to stand up. You have to stand up. How are you gonna go over there, bro? Yes, I'm go over there. Go for go and go play. So you can have my seat. <laughs> go, go, so you can play with the microphone. Can I can't sing, bro. In case you didn't, I'll take plenty of videos. I'm here with everybody. Here's Darren, and then everybody else is on that side. It's kind of hard because there are other people on here too. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna go snorkeling and such. Like, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Oh, so they just gave us breakfast. We paid eighty five dollars for this cruise, so I'm not really sure. I feel like most of the money probably went to snorkeling, you know, and the bar, because there's an open bar. Um, not that I really drink, but like, so I think they're supposed to serve us lunch as well. And so we'll be looking for that. But hold on, let me show you guys what they gave us. They didn't give me any meat, like kind of fishy if you ask me. Mm, it all looks pretty good. Especially this piece. I think I really like this. Hello. So we just came back from our cruise. I have plenty and plenty and plenty and plenty of videos from that, trust me. It was nice. I would say it was chill or whatever. Then we actually like went tubing at this place, this conference place. Hold on, let me get some, let me get a shot out of it. It's just like a little shack tent thing um, on Palm Beach. Really nice to go jet skiing was 80, no it wasn't that much, $60 total. And then to go tubing was $22. It's our last full day in Aruba. And so then we're gonna go like celebrate Tony's birthday. It's gonna be super nice. Um, we're gonna get all fancy, dressed up for dinner or whatnot. So right now we're at the Hyatt Hotel. We don't actually stay here, as you guys know. We stand in the Airbnb. But just look at this, guys. I can understand why some people would prefer to live in resorts and things like that. Hey gang, you guys know what it is. 
we're black people in Aruba and we've had a little hair situation or whatever and so we found a beauty shop one of the only beauty shops that I could find on this little island um, it's called Lucky Cosmetics hold on it definitely looks like home so we're gonna go see what they have in here hopefully they have what we need um, but you know just a little sneak peek you guys get to see what a hair store in Aruba looks like so that's great officially say that I'm going to miss this place. We are leaving our little Arubian home. I'm gonna miss it, I'm so sad, low key. That is the end of my journey. I hope that you guys got some helpful tips and useful tips from this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, let me know when you want to travel, if you are ever planning on coming to Aruba, and if you think that I should do more of these vloggy vlog type things. Anyway, my name is Maya. Remember that I love you and God loves you, but not necessarily in that order. Goodbye. <laughs>